Okay, we're back. For reals this time. Jack's taking a break. I'm going to get Paper Mario set up, which is now what we're going to be streaming. And we are on chapter 6. The flower chapter. After a boss rush in the previous stream. Starting? Yep. Okay. We are live. Okay. I'm back. We'll see what the uh see what the levels are like. Soothing music. <laughs> oh god. If anybody has any spare morphine, please send it to me. I could really use it. Oh fuck. I'll be fine. What are we like? I just need to get in there. there we go. Okay. So last time we uh we we cleared our accounts and now we go to Flowerland and oh yeah we did a boss rush. Yep. It's a problem with this pl this place is coming up. Uh, it's, not, I, it's not sunny enough. The uh, I don't know the bulb said the flowers are in danger so let's go save the flowers. <laughs> yep. Sounds like a job for the Mario crew. It's a, wow, it's a, how fortunate. We just happened to have gotten all four of the seeds we need over the course of our adventure. Yeah, they hidden one in a volcano. I thought that was kind of fucked up. It's it's perfectly okay, though. They're magic. They grow instantly. Hey, you got something that vibrates? No. I was going to use it on my back. Just kind of do like a massage. No, I'm afraid not. I, I'll need something like that at some point. Probably on the cheap. Yeah, they got websites for that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yay! Flower lo Whoa. I don't remember. I don't think I mentioned this on screen, but I, uh... Recently... Oh, I better get this out of the way. I recently tried giving Sticker Star another chance. Just because... Oh, you, you tried playing it again? I had a lot of travel time, and I had no, no other games to play. I have very few DS, 3DS games. Yeah. And I got stuck. You? you got stuck? There's literally a point I couldn't figure out what to do next. Oh, man, that's disappointing. So, even trying to push through it and stomach the shitty, shitty gameplay, I could Nintendo stopped me. What ho? Who might that be? Did you, you try looking it up on like a game facts? Well, I was on, I was dry, out, out on the, I wasn't driving, I was riding out on the road, so I didn't have internet access. Okay. Hey, call me wise, Wisterwood. I'm the oldest tree here in flower fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. Deku, Deku tree did it better. Guy. You... I'm not infringing upon anyone's rights or copyrights. That's because both like, the com companies own both giant talking trees. Look, I have a door in my mouth. <laughs> so does the other guy! No, no, he just has an opening. <laughs> I'm fancier. I have interior decorations. You're, you're less likely to die by virtue of being in a Mario game. Yeah, that is true. So the evil Huff and Puff is, is like, has a cloud machine that's blocking out the sun. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because he's evil. <laughs> it's good that, yeah, we deal with a lot of moral ambiguity. It's good that we're playing a game which is clear cut, yeah, this guy is evil. Deku Tree also had a monster inside. Well, apparently this tree has all of Toad Town inside. <laughs> That's what you get. I'm the parasite! <laughs> Fungus. Okay, well, I get we're we're going east. I don't think there's anything else we need to do yet, so I'm just gonna beat up this flower here. Enemies in this uh, in this uh, level aren't really that hard. There was a there was a. Um, I actually remember them being kind of annoying because a these ones are annoying because a their attacks are impossible to time and b 
they have seven hit points, which is like Shy Guys, one too many. Oh, yeah. There was a, there was this, Oh, eight uh, hit points, okay. There was this show I was watching called, uh, called Fringe. Yeah. It's basically about a uh, mad scientist helping to solve science crimes. And, uh, and at one point there's this guy they found, uh, like this FBI agent with this, like this giant worm thing wrapped around his heart. Yeah. And like the, the mad scientist whose name is Walter. Okay. Does he make meth? Uh, he made LSD. Okay, close enough. <laughs> No, he's more of a mad scientist. Walter, instead of Walter White, is Walter Rainbow. <laughs> and yo, dude. And, uh, and... So, they, they get him, they have this guy on IV, and they realize, this guy is dehydrated, and they look into the bag, and, like, these parasitic tendrils are going up, like, the, the, the IV drip wire, and into the bag itself. They looked at it, and, and the mad scientist dude was, like, looking at it going, fascinating. By the way, these things suck. Oh yeah, no, fuck those things. I remember, high attack, I high attack, no hit points. I don't remember them as being much of a problem, I, for some reason. No. I guess it's because, compared to most other things in this game, these guys are just kind of annoying rather than game ending. Yeah, if I had multi-bounce, this would end it immediately. Do I have like, a fire flower? That'll do. Oh, gotta break reality to use special attacks. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? Well, this isn't really funny, just something I happened to see. Yeah? Apparently, like, wasps and hornets are a really big problem in America. Yeah? So there, people are coming up with more and more elaborate ways to take out the nests. You can't just, like, oh, damage a nest. The guy Because those motherfuckers will have that repaired, like, by the end of the day. Yeah. So what they did was they, like, took a drone. One guy took, like, a quad drone, attached, like, a, like, a piece of flame and an aerosol can to it. And I just did like drone fire on on this on this wasp nest. Yeah. Just set that shit on fire. It worked. But this guy in chat has seen Fringe. Oh, he has. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good show. Says he's fond of Leonard Nimoy as a seasoned villain. Oh yeah, that's right. He was a. Uh, he wasn't really. Was he a villain though? Uh, I mean, that whole that whole company wasn't really. Acting that villainous, they were just kind of like. Oh fuck! Well, he seems to think so. Main bad guy of a season, he says. Uh, God damn! I am way off today. Yeah. Okay, fuck off. Oh, yeah, Fine by me. That. They could just fuck off. Yeah. So we should uh, kind of changing the subject. We should tell them about uh, about your visit the other day. Oh, my visit with with the hospital. Yes. All and right. the. Uh, the the fine fine lady that we encountered there. So we so, in order to not freak out, I was you know I was in pretty severe pain. Yeah. But uh, what the fuck? This is new music. Have oh. Have you not heard this before? We not not in this game. It it plays only in this scene. Huh. It's just a pissed off flower. I guess it's good pissed off flower music. Well, he wanted. It sounds like, like some kind of Mortal Kombat music. Kinda does. It sounds like like Mario Cross with Mortal Kombat. Mario Kombat. Oh my yeah, that's an actual thing that exists, <clears throat> Mario Combat. So you emerge what what is wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, it was right? The day before. Um, day before yesterday, we had to take you. We were getting in, ready for work. And it just spontaneously the back spasmed and we what had was to. It that you, 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 I imagine you were in the other room and you just heard from my room, just me going, ah! Ah! I just heard sudden screaming. Yeah. And I was, when I when I was trying to figure out what was going on, you you were finally lying down saying, call work, call work, while I was trying to call 911. <laughs> Let no one say you were not a dedicated employee. <laughs> well, I eventually got a hold of them. They were pretty understanding about the situation. Yeah, we got... I mean, medical emergencies happen all the time. We got you into the hospital. Yeah, they, uh... Then there was this nurse. <laughs> there this... were a few There were a few people who you saw, but... Yeah, most of them were kind of friendly. They were appreciative of the fact that I wasn't, like, angry and swearing at them, and just... I was actually trying to, you know, keep it lighthearted. Until there was this one nurse who just came in the room with a scowl already on her face. Oh, yeah. Probably could hear me outside. Yeah. You, you're a... Even when you're not in pain, you're a fairly loud-voiced dude. Yeah. But uh, she came in obviously not in the best of moods, and 
Yeah, you, you tried to you know, stay lighthearted, strike up uh, conversation with yeah, her. Yeah, she just was not having any of it. <laughs> like she was like, she first she told us to look up this video. Well, after, did you try to tell her a joke before? I think you tried to tell her a joke before that, or you tried to tell her, like, what kind of pain you were in. Yeah. And in response, she told you to look up a video. Oh, yeah, and then the she video... She said, you want to see something really funny? Look up, uh... What, man cold? Man cold. On YouTube. Yeah, and it was like this sketch <laughs> where the man was being, like, wimpy, and the woman was, like, having to take care of him. It was one of those bits about how men are so pathetic when they're sick and can't do anything, whereas women are, are so much tougher, and moms go on with their day and don't let sickness phase them, and... Yeah, it was the kind of thing to tell me to get me to shut up. It was, she, in a very roundabout way, she just told you to, like, walk it off. I confronted her about this. I asked her if that was the case, and she's like, "No, no, that wasn't the case. I thought uh, it was sure just funny." It wasn't. And I'm like, I, "There it, was no relevance to me suggesting you look up that video now while you were, you know, in catastrophic back pain." Oh yeah, no. Here's the thing about my back is that I've had this kind of injury before, way back when. Yeah. Yeah, like four years, four or five years ago, and and no, it 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 does. It's not only really painful, it's a kind of pain that just kind of happens no matter what position you're in. Yeah. So I'm laying down, I'm in the best possible position, I got like a pillow between my legs, I, my head is kind of level, my spine is like pretty level right now, but it's only marginally successful. Yeah. I've been getting by on, uh, on, on massive amounts of painkillers and just wishful thinking. <laughs> Yeah. I, I am just miserable right now. It's been a rough couple days. But, I've had, since I've had this before, I know that, like, the first week is the hardest, and then afterwards it's just gonna get mildly annoying. I'm gonna, I'll, I, eventually I'll be able to lay down without just sheer pain, just, just going down my leg. Yeah. Wow, you're not doing too well. <laughs> I, I missed ones. So, that was a... A oh, very, very aggressive. N like she should not be working in a hospital with that kind of attitude. She was like a. I know you don't like the show. She was really like the nurse from Scrubs, though. Oh, the, oh, the, the black sassy one. Oh yeah. That just didn't have anyone's shit. Oh, you're in pain, honey. Tell me more about it. I feel so sorry for you. Oh. You know, there's people like that that are just like, oh, just I feel utterly desensitized. Which makes sense working in a hospital, but... You have seen worse, but at the same time... That's not how you deal with someone in agony. <laughs> you got, you were saying you kind of respected her for it, though. Just yeah, the sheer just balls like, on this lady. I, I, didn't, I didn't take any offense to it. I mean... You were trying I, I to mean, stay positive. Me, I'd and, want me to show it up, too. You were trying to stay positive and laugh things off. Oh, this one's not a threat. Fuck it. Genocide mode. Genocide! Ah! Ah, oh, I thought you, you were touching him for a bit before you decided to. Just alone, not causing any harm. Trying to live his life, don't care. Dead. Way past dead. Collateral damage. Uh, I couldn't avoid it, it was in the way of one of the moles. Oh, she's happy now, okay. Yep. All these flowers with all these, like... I got up. she gave me a bean. <laughs> If you plant it, it'll grow. She likes seeds, because seeds are free and not rooted in the ground. She, so she's self-loathing. Yeah. I'm sure she could... They could move. They could just kind of go underground and then reappear somewhere else. That's and how they... everyone else in the Mario universe handles it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this has got some weird kind of, like, cherry management system. Yeah, cherry management system. Cherry picking? Yeah, you... <laughs> Yeah, I do, in fact, need specific types of berries for specific things. Yeah, some people only eat the blue ones. Oh, that was weird text. I don't think the the emulator can process whatever that font well, is. What happened? What did it show? Uh, there's a guy in the well. No, I don't want to toss that in. He doesn't like red berries. <laughs> he tosses nothing but red berries and comes out and tries to kill you. It's a secret... Like, final true boss is the dude in that well. It's the hand from Majora's Mask. Oh, the, God damn it. The hand? Yeah, the toilet hand. Oh. Oh, God. That was weird. Like, I looked at that, I'm like, 
what's supposed to happen here? Duh! Paper! Need paper. Oh, that, yeah. that was a very weird voice. That was a very weird game. It was. Best Zelda game, though. A lot of people tend I to think. agree. Uh. Whichever one you feel. Yeah, I'll get a little more flowers. Max out badge points first thing, then move on to health and flower. You? You what? What were we just talking about? Uh, man in the is... toilet. Oh, yeah, toilet. the toilet hand. Okay, so now I, I have a red berry. I can get past a red guard somewhere. Like, Where stopping the to look at that shit, like, going, Aw, oh, man, do I really have to help out this, at this loser? It's been a long time since I played, but I agree, best Zelda game. It gameplay wise, it and, and Ocarina are both really great, and I, I say that as more of a fan of the 3D Zelda games. I haven't played, I haven't played the quote unquote best 2D ones, so yeah, I, I don't mean, really have an opinion on those. You played the yet. original Legend of Zelda and you got lost, as one does. But uh, uh, Link into the past. It's has, just that it actually just, has directions, so yeah. you could you probably do that one. It's more to do with Majora's Mask being having great gameplay like Ocarina with also really, really good writing and world building. Oh, it's, it's creepy as shit. It's, like, if Satoshi Kon did a Zelda game, and that is fucking amazing also, to me. Also, K4 gave more shows up in the second game. In the first game, he was kind of like talking to you. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> There's only one. Oh, and a, and a cloud. Okay, I'm going to kill the bee. Bzzz. What was I saying? Uh... Kepora Gebora. Yeah, he showed up in the second one, looked around, and he's like constantly telling you about how... Yeah, this place is kind of on its way out, you should probably leave. And kind of annoying. <laughs> With what? the, do you want to tell me, do you want me to tell you that again? Oh, I fucking love owls. I, but, no, he, but in, in Majora's Mask, he was just talking about, about how, how this land was fucked. <laughs> you'd, you'd better just leave. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucks off right after that. You never see him again. I thought you did, but... Do you? I don't remember ex exactly. I think he only appears that one time in the swamp to teach you the Song of Soaring. Yeah, and then he just and he just leaves and you never see him again. <laughs> I thought it was like that same dude who was like in Augury Time. He's like going, Why the fuck are you here? You know this place is gonna go through an apocalypse in three days? Well, it can fly. I'm sure it'll get out of there. Doesn't that mean if Skull like, the moon fell on like, on, like Clock Town, Hyrule would be destroyed too? I guess depend. It, it's like another. It's an alternate world, like the Dark World and Link to the Past. I'm. I think oh, it's so supposed that's, to like, be. Oh, so that's like Cuckoo World. Yeah. Or the Cow World from Diablo. <sighs> oh. oh. Okay. Ooh, yes. Everything so, grows up here. So the plate, the other herb from uh, Boo's Mansion had the shape. This has the smell. Yep. The dankest of weed. Ah, <laughs> uh, eh. Fine. Oh, come on! I, I, the universe slowed down. Of course it did. If you're new to the stream and haven't figured this out, we are playing this on an emulator. I do own the hard copy, and we've played through the hard copy, but... Yes. This is specifically for backup purposes for us. Yeah. Cartridges have been, uh... Not kind of dying. Like dead, dead batteries have been happening. Things like that. Yeah. So. Since these aren't ever going to be reprinted in their native uh, format. Time to sadly. Well, I say upgrade, but it's still t performance wise, it's a downgrade. They still have not perfected the technology for N64 emulation. They're getting close. Close. This used yeah. to be worse. My my computer just is not strong enough to handle the mighty power of N64 games. Leveling up in this in this uh, level in this dungeon slash area slash whatever very easy. The dungeon area, whatever. I don't think I actually need sticky herb for anything. Maybe a couple of really like obscure recipes. But, but that's we're not it. going for a full recipe run, so who cares? We maybe could, but I don't think that. Yeah, that takes. We too will long. make. We will make the greatest of feasts. Oh, hey, it's bitch. I remember you, bitch. It's the crystal oh, tree. Oh, it's the... <sighs> Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Posey. 
Pose. Oh no, I'm not. I'm sorry. I, she, Mike Posner. <laughs> she's she's not in fact a bitch. That was very rude of me. I'm thinking of a totally different character. <laughs> My nose is yeah, pretty nice, Yeah, you're thinking too. of a different one. This person isn't a bitch. She just took a pill and a visa. Oh, okay. Poser. The person who wrote that song is Mike Poser. She gave me fertile soil. Ow! All I know are sad songs. Okay, it, it hurts her when I hit the tree. I, I'm able to cause an NPC pain. Oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> As a person going through a massive amount of pain, I can't kill them, but it's like uh, it's like if I could l just get a couple hits on the shopkeepers in Undertale. What did I just get? I just got yellow berry. I have now. Okay. Yep. That's the bubble place. Is there, is there a star piece back here? Is there something behind? Possibly. You? Is there something behind your ass, Deku Tree? <laughs> he eats soil and shits out wood. <laughs> Sounds painful. Uh, yeah, well... <clears throat> These things happen, I guess. You are meant to be dead, the hole in Majora's Mask. That's a fan theory, and it's not a very good one. <laughs> but I... Well, the thing is that you don't want Link to be dead. What the... That's a weird-ass afterlife. The moon's constantly hitting you, like, every three days. Yeah. There's the fan theory that it's supposed to be, like, uh... An, an allegory for, like, Link's coping with his death and going through How all this shit. How did he die? Like, he, he went into the Lost Woods and turned into a Skull into a skull Kid. Like, he just went to the Lost or, Woods? Or, uh, Stall Child, I guess the Hylians do. I have excellent taste in food, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty you to think, get like, by. You think, like, Mask was somebody, something somebody made up? Well, like, like, yes! A story in a, no, a so in-universe story like the Deku Kids made up? To explain, like, why Link never came back. He went, he was lost in this different land. May oh. He went into the Lost Woods to find his friend and he never came out. Oh boy, I finally get to be useful. Yep. Again. Enjoy it. Briefly. I was, like, thinking of, like... Like, they say he was, like, lost in this dimension where a moon will constantly hit him for all eternity. Meanwhile, the, what actually happened... Was that he just got lost in the forest? And he, Some and say he's still there to this day. <laughs> I really, I ever this is the place we grind a Maisie Daisies when we. Oh yeah! If, we if you, you want to grind, you come here and you fight the Amazie Daisies, and every time you kill one, it's almost an automatic level up. Yeah, these are the hunting grounds. Yeah. Ah, I don't really need a stopwatch, sleepy sheep. I'll get rid of a vulture room. Are there any here? Here? No. Any what? The Maisie Daisies. Oh no, not right now. Okay. Plus, you probably not. Uh, probably can't deal enough damage to them. Meh. Dizzy dials are useless. Yeah, pretty much. There's not really any point to differentiating between Dizzy Dial and Sleepy Sheep. They both have the same effect and pretty much work in the about as many cases. Sleep, still, uh, sleep is more useful. Only because of Kent C. Koopa. Otherwise, they would do the same well, thing. Well, we did. In the same we managed cases. to make it work on the master. Uh, how do we know that Dizzy wouldn't have? We didn't try that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do we use Dizzy, uh, do we use Dizzy or Sleep on the Master? I think we, we used Dizzy. Dizzy. Remember, that was yeah. the thumbnail. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, you're fat. Uh, hey! <laughs> the flower, not you. Oh, no. Are they all females? So no. far, I think so. No, the horrible no, thing that no the male cats. flowers? Well, oh, I no mean... boy Georges. The, uh, the males are obviously the bees. That makes too much sense. <laughs> Shut up with that logic. I mean, that flower with the quote-unquote nose from earlier had an obvious, what, a stymen is what flowers have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so maybe, dick. Maybe that was the male flower who just, like, was really metro? He loves his crystal tree. I need to get the water stone back. Okay. Let, let, we gotta evolve a, a star you. There's no such thing as a Mario Go, because people would die doing that. Jumping on turtles? Well... I, I guess that would be like a parkour app. Yeah, a parkour app. There was a YouTube video called Super Mario Go, with parody- Oh, oh, hello. Parodying, uh... You know, I like Pokemon Go, but with Mario. I, I don't know what exactly it entailed. Uh, do I- I don't really have any way to take this out immediately. I guess I could at least tattle on it. 
Well, like, you could use the bomb to, like, as, like, the lead punch, and then... Okay. I, I... I could, but it wouldn't deal that much damage, honestly. Okay. And I, I got a tattle on him at some point, so I might as well do it now. Yeah. This is an amazing daisy. Amazing daisies are so rare that they're also called the legendary crazy daisies. Crazy daisy! <laughs> 2021. That's what we call Princess Daisy on a bender. <laughs> 2021? It'd be nice to be- yeah, 20 attack, 20 hit points, 1 defense. Okay. I use a POW block. Oh, I don't have power bounce equipped. Okay. Yeah. So this will not- this will be very flaccid. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Next time, Amazie Daisy. We'll be back. Next time. Oh, it just vanished. Oh my god. I don't want to fight you. I want to flee. Oh. You're going to have to fight anyway. According to Hyrule Historia, everything I said is correct in canon. I don't think that's the case. All, all it says is that that's the, uh, <laughs> the link from Majora's Mask. It says nothing more. The... <laughs> go to Hyrule Historia, it's like, is Link dead during Majora's Mask? That, that, would make, that would make it the darkest Zelda game in which the main character... Is I guess trying to navigate like it's like his journey to the afterlife is the fan theory that is a fan theory. It's just a theory, a game theory. The game grumps are in Smash Brothers Infinite. As an ice, <laughs> as an ice climber skin. Which, also, Skull which Kid. ones? Dead. I know, I know, it's probably Ego or Raptor, but who's the other one? The two that have the heads. I thought there were only two Game Grumps. Ross and there what's were, his name? There, there were three. Oh. That, well, there were there originally, it was originally uh, Eager Raptor and John Tron, then John Tron left and they became, uh... I, did, I didn't know this. I know you didn't. I, I don't watch Game Grumps. I, 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 I just hear... Nothing about. against them. I'm dying at Game I, I'm more of a I'm more of a Switcher fan myself. Oh, hey. Oh, is this Ultimate? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ha I think I- there are actually some of these in town that I haven't accessed yet, but I'll save it for our next and final party member that we don't know about yet, so we can, uh, get yep. them upgraded. Next and final. Yeah, one party member. Uh... The, we thought Perry was useless. I mean, he is out of bat. Oh god, the flower's circling me. I'm gonna- I'm gonna battle as- I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm being held hostage. Are there They're any? Circling. Are there any high defense enemies? Not, not, uh, not, not here? soon. Uh, no. There, the, even the final boss doesn't have a whole lot of defense, but there's a reason for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do bombette so that we can. If we run into another Maisie Daisy, we'll have ammo. Ambush. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, crude right. humor. Fair to fuck. <laughs> you could have actually left, gotten out of that. Yeah. It's oh not, no! It's not really to do with crude humor. I just. I guess it's kind of the same reason I'm not a huge fan of Joel, is that there's just too much laughing and wackiness. Or, it, with the Game Grumps, so they laugh so much that it's more laughing than commentary, so. <laughs> I think it was great if you, like, like I find that having a good time, I just... Plus, I, plus, uh, I watch, I watch Super Best Friends, uh, myself, just because... They they have a lot of, they have really funny ways of just telling stories about, about the stuff they're... That's on topic. Yeah. I like jokes and stories and conversation. Just the whole con- Just them on their Punisher Let's Play, they were just talking about- I'm just gonna load everything. I don't want to deal with these guys. <laughs> I'm out of ammo now. Oh. Totally unrelated to anything we're talking about, uh -huh. but, uh... I, I don't remember if I told the story on stream of, uh... Remember that- I think it was in Job Corps, on, in the Job Corps, there was this, a girl who was talking about, she, I, or maybe it was when I was in college, there was a girl who said that she had designed for a friend or a relative of hers a pink camouflage wedding dress. Oh, I heard of this story. For a military-themed wedding. Military-themed yes. wedding? Yeah. Hey, uh... So, I mean, interesting design choice. And I bring this up because the other day, I saw... You saw the pink camo dress? No, no, no. I saw what was the vehicle that they probably used to get to that wedding. <laughs> was it a Hummer? Close. It was a pink limo jeep. 
<laughs> just parked in a driveway. I don't know who's renting it or where it came from. I just saw it parked somewhere. Well. And it just, it completed the picture. Yep. The, also, the, speaking of vehicles I've seen parked, I actually, this is, this is kind of funny. I saw an ice cream truck on fire. On when? the, on who's the this? side of the road. Really? Yes. Oh, and I missed it? Here, Fuck. here in town. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. There, Wait a minute. Hold it, on. it would have been better if it had had the music playing and it was like the the merry-go-round dying in roller coaster tycoon. Hell, nobody was hurt, but at the same time, that's that's. Hilarious. I don't know. It's just funny, funny imagery. Was it the one that cut that came around here? Yeah, the the one with all the American. Oh, was that one? Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. I'm sure they How got the a. How the fuck did that happen? I'm sure they got a replacement. I just saw it on the side of the road with smoke coming out of the grills. Oh man. So it wasn't like it didn't. It wasn't like it wasn't. Water. No, it wasn't a destruction derby. It didn't have <laughs> flames coming out of the front of it. Oh god! Oh, that was that was fun when we went to that destruction derby. Yeah. <laughs> Just better save. The guy's engine exploded. It would. It exploded into fire. It did. Yeah. What do I have? Do I have a bubbleberry? I have blueberries. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go drop off a blueberry to sad well man. Yeah, I'm you'll uh... go visit the toilet hand. Oh no! Hey, you got him. Unintentionally. Oh, right. I wanted to get the other one. Frag out. Oh man. I met a. Uh... God, this is there. You can time it. It's difficult in the second game, but possible. This one's just impossible. And oh, also, no. they can fucking stunlock you, these assholes. <laughs> Fortunately, you got Goombario. Yeah, there are a lot of them. I think in the second game, the uh, the lullaby hits both you and your party member. That sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna go into... Uh, I, not, not really a story, just a brief little thing about... Uh, I'm not gonna go into details about... How I met this child, or what? How how our relationship came to be, which is Wait, like what? a whole not, not hold on not, what, what, not what? like that. Don't think that way. Okay, good. Or like because like how, how I met this kid, because that's like a, a whole sappy B movie plot in its in and of itself. But I'm just going to say that I I, I met this kid, and there's there's a child somewhere out there in the world whose name is Neo Paradise. And I just thought that was the most awesome fucking name for a yeah, kid of all time. A, that is an anime protagonist name. It is, yeah. You should be or, proud to have or that Or like name. a JRPG hero. New Paradise. I am Neo Paradise. Who's throwing stuff in my well? Oh, this is a blueberry. I love these. Oh, it's cool. Have... Oh, that's a good one. That's Flower Saver. Oh, that's expensive. I think it costs four. How Let's see. It only works for you, though, not your partner. Yeah, unfortunately. They added they added partner badges in the second game, and they I'm sure they could add a lot more really fun, interesting badges in a third game you if know, they would they, ever make a good third Paper Mario game that wasn't full of fucking gimmicks. <laughs> Platforming only, Super Paper Mario. Use stickers, Sticker Star. Oh, six. six. Power plus damage dodge. Why do people like these games? It's a mystery. Do they? No, I'm talking about the first two. Oh. I don't know. Could it be that they're just, like, solid, well-made games with interesting gameplay that doesn't rely on gimmicks? <laughs> Gimmick. I mean, they had some gimmicks, but they weren't... They weren't trying as hard as these new ones are to just, like, reinvent the wheel is what the new Paper Mario games are trying to do. Yeah. Because they're trying to find a niche separate from the... Mario and Luigi games, which also feature kind of action commands, so. What did I get? I have... Okay, I can access there. Do I have bubbleberries? I... What am I looking for? I... Can I go this way? Oh, blueberries, okay. I'm tired of guarding this stupid old gate. I'm so, so hungry. I was trying to do the uh, the robot from oh, Galaxy uh, Hitchhiker's can, Guide. Can you hear me my pills? <laughs> now? Hadn't been uh, very long. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I guess not. I was... What were you saying? I was trying to do the robot from Hitchhiker's Guide, but I don't... I, I haven't seen it. The, the Rickman robot. Oh, yeah. 
I don't suppose you, you have anything that you'd like to give me. You saved us all. Yes, wretched, isn't it? <laughs> A blueberry. I'm sure this will be gross. There are good blue things. I'm filled with hope again. Can't you hear how full of hope I'm sounding? Yep. You're so cool, Walter. <laughs> If only Walter were voiced by Alan Rickman. There's a the, the the main scientist in Fringe is called Walter. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's his name, and he acts like a, like a mad scientist. He's like, we'll put you with, we'll fill you with LSD and other drugs. We'll throw you in this chamber, and then I'll allow you to read this corpse's mind. And she's like, is, you think this will work? He's like, well, quite possibly. <laughs> and it works. Yeah. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like. He's like, oh, that's a relief. I didn't think that would actually work. He's like talking about. There's like a scene in which he's just they're having to fight this like genetically designed creature. And he's described like listing off all its traits and abilities. And he stops. He's like, oh, I just had an erection. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. <laughs> As okay, there was something I was supposed to do with that block, but I don't don't remember what. I'll come back. They're running out to get like some lab equipment to solve like a pandemic, and he's like, "Could you bring me back a root beer float? I've always wanted to try one." After I got, after, after I left my. <laughs> By the way, this mother, this science motherfucker was in a mental institution for 17 years. Oh, so he's Kurtsuchi. <laughs> yeah, he he makes sure to remind people at every opportunity that he was in a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take anything I say with any, any confidence. Meanwhile, the main, the main protagonist, this like chick, is like, I really need to get a, a scientist that is that operates on these fringe experiments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to talk to this this crazy old dude, a mental institution. Like, you know what his first words were when he, when she first met him? What? He, he was like sitting at a desk. He turns around, sees the FBI agent, and goes. I knew someone would come eventually! <laughs> it sounds like he wants to be back in the mental institution. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's so funny, this character. He's yeah. like... Oh, I, oh, you're fighting those things. He also lobotomized part of his brain, says the chat. Oh, is that what happened? That explains a lot about him, actually. <laughs> he did the Farnsworth. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the first time when, they, when they're driving him to, like, the, the place where they're gonna use him, he's like, I, I just, they're driving, he's like, oh, I just pissed myself. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Walter. Just a squirt. <laughs> And this was Leonard Nimoy? That, that, that no, 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 this is some other dude. Leonard Nimoy was, the was, at, was like the, the working like partner of uh, Walter. Mm. And like way back before he like lost his mind and went to a mental institution. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> mazes! I love mazes. Okay, I, I remembered it. Like, like, when he first, like, one of his first demands after getting out and starting to help the FBI with their FBI science, secret super science shit, is that he wants his old lab back at Harvard. And they're like, um, it's been disused. Uh, there's nothing there anymore. And he's like, he gets so pissed. He's like, trash in the place. And he's like, get him back, his fucking lab. <laughs> Here she is. Here's the bitch. But yeah, because she's a rose. Every rose has its thorn, child. I imagine her with a Naga the Serpent voice. <laughs> Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. Breathtaking, aren't I? I was going to compare uh, that flower to a Pacifica Northwest, and then I realized she actually has character development. Now. <laughs> Isn't this a pretty stone? I found it the other day. Oh yeah, this is the one where you have to do a chain of deals. You're saying Lily's in trouble without this. How very sad. Oh well. <laughs> She'll die, but I would have to give up my pretty stone. Well, that's too bad for her. 
How sad, really. It's it's pitiful. Get, how about Although just... that Lily's kind of a bitch, so I don't feel too bad. Is what she's saying. How about I kick your ass, then, then will you give me your stone? If she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set up my beauty. There'll be no ugly girls to make me look better. If, she, if I bring her something prettier, she'll think about trading it. Oh, okay. That, that's a reasonable demand. <laughs> You're really flummoxed by this living rose. <laughs> kind, of, kind of a bitch. A little bit. This is like what, we just come at her with machetes and go, Alright, here's the deal. You give up the stone, and I won't trim you down. We come at her with, uh... What, shrub clippers? What are they called? Shrub clip... Yeah, shrub clip... Sh hedge clippers. The fuck is this stone? F this I know it's for something. There's something here. Oh wait, I know how to do this. There we go. Yeah, you got. The oh, it's just an item. What that is it? Shooting star. Oh, that's useful. I guess. Yeah. I thought it would be a badge. I thought it'd be something cool. <laughs> He's played by the steward of Gondor from Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. Oh wait, who was? I the main character from Fringe, I'm guessing. Walter. Uh, was that him? Or are you are you talking about Walter's son, Peter? <laughs> by the way, he has a son called Peter, and Peter fucking hates him. Yeah. He's like, he doesn't even call him dad. He just calls him Walter. <laughs> and and he's like, his. And he's like, well, the one, like saying, "Look, uh, you don't need me. You got my father. I don't want to be here." He's and the, the FBI agent's like, "Uh, no, we, we need you because you can translate whatever the fuck he's saying." He's like, "No, you can figure it out on your own." And she's like, "Well, actually, there's this Kavat. He's made it absolutely clear he refuses to work with us unless you're here." And he's like, "Ah, oh, god damn it." Uh. I didn't get it, but I was at Goodwill earlier today, uh -huh. and I saw they had in pretty good condition Family Guy seasons one and two. Oh man! <laughs> well, you know, I'm, you know my <laughs> that other one just ran. Yeah, that no, was the, the plan. Oh, is that the golden one? Yeah, that's oh. why I was getting that one out of the way. Run into the corner like a good flower. Oh, does it just retreat? Yeah, it run. That one runs from you. Oh, it's a good. pacifist. Oh, I should have. God, I f it still don't have power bounce equipped though. Yeah, you're well. Oh, maybe. So you can you start it? That wouldn't be enough. Yes! Woo! You did it. Free XP. Look Lots at that shit, motherfucker! Slap off a HP plus. Slap on, slap off. I think the back, the back of the box. I don't know where they got this quote from. The back of the box said that uh, family or Peter Griffin is like what you'd get if you threw Homer Simpson, Hank Hill, and Cartman into a blender. Uh, I I disagree with Hank Hill. Yeah. The, uh, because that, that's the thing about Hank Hill. Hank Hill had nothing zany going on with him. He was just a dude. Yeah. He was just a guy. The Homer Simpson was in, was like the everyman who was not a, like pretty dim, but otherwise tried Peter, to make it work. Peter's too crude and wacky to have any Hank yeah, Hill in him. Yeah, well, Cartman makes more sense. Cartman yeah. and Homer Simpson make sense. That would make fucking Peter. Hank Hill though. Wait, wait, you just. <laughs> He's just, th they're just thinking of all the, uh, why did, I didn't want to come here, where, oh, right, go into the fucking tree. Well, we got an Amazing Daisy, so that wasn't a waste. Yeah, they, they were just, like, thinking of all the animated characters they could think of, I think. Yeah, and then they decided, yeah, Hank Hill, hey, fucking, Hank Hill would look at Peter Griffin and kick his ass. Hey, he wouldn't even say that as much, too, I'm gonna kick your ass. Fuck it. What was, oh, I guess it's not really ever established 
where Springfield is in the United States. Uh, it was. It's based off of Springfield, Oregon. Uh, is it? Are you sure? I, I believe so. That there are is, multiple Springfields. I know there are multiple Springfields, but the one I was like made aware of was that it was based off of like a town in Oregon called Springfield. Hmm. Did an Oregonian tell you this? I I read it somewhere. Okay. I mean, that's as authoritative as anything I've got. <laughs> um. I was just like From, Peter Griffin is East Coast and uh, Hank Hill is Southern. I remember Southern. there was an episode of uh, of The Simpsons in which, like, I think it was like Bart that was like on a on a, like a sports team. Yeah. And uh, and it they had a gag where it just showed like the Springfield team and then it just says Ar Arlen. <laughs> Like Texas? Yeah. And then, and then it cuts over to the bleachers, and you see just the hills, just at the bleachers saying, We drove 500 miles for this. <laughs> they did do, I think they did do the same series. Yeah. Or they were kind of involved. I do like when the crossovers happen. Oh, wait. I think I think it did discount Goombario's moves. Did it? We can I check think. next time. All right. It does. Oh, sweet. You okay, so everything's cheaper. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Massive strats, bro. Well, now I wish I... I guess I don't have flower points that upgraded. I, I'm not going to need that many flower points now. Uh. By the way, for people just joining in, thank you for joining the uh, Jack Anderson injury benefit stream. Oh, yeah. Jack is still... Crippled. Yeah. We didn't. Uh, I. We didn't really go into detail about that in the start of the stream. We just kind of went into your hospital visit straight away. So, I was getting ready for work. I had an hour. I was going through my routine. Well, we went through that before. Yeah. Then I just kind of. I was getting my shoes on, and my back kind of. There's a moment where I heard something, in my or I felt something in my back, and then, just agony. I. I, I was writhing around on my bed, just screaming, and then I sat down, and and then I was able to kind of just relax. It, it was miserable. Yeah. Like, I wish I had a, like something to massage my back. I was thinking about like either a chiropractor or an acupuncturist to help fix this. I would imagine a chiropractor would be more effective. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I've heard. I've heard some like good things about chiropractors. Did you tattle on those? Yeah. They don't, I, they're not showing their HP. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. God, I have no quick way of dealing ten damage to any enemies. Oh no, you're not dealing enough damage. It's annoying. I remember when we were when I when we were playing uh, Twisted Metal for PlayStation. Yeah. I was playing as uh, as the trucker dark side. The biggest, strongest vehicle in the game. And I was complaining about not dealing enough damage. You you called me out on that. Yeah. You are you saying you're like you're taking out half their health by my ramming into them? What, what more do you want? Something I I don't remember much of that game honestly. That game didn't age well. Its frame rate is kind of. Yeah. Although I have played Twisted Metal Black, much better game. Yeah. What well, the one was not a great entry in the series, but it improved as it went on. <laughs> Black has very interesting like story elements. Yeah. I saw the the first uh, the endings of the first Twisted Metal when they were when it was all live action. Oh yeah, the ones that didn't make it into the game. Oh yeah, those were funny. <laughs> what do you choose as your prize? I'm the winner, and you're my prize. What? No. It's not time yet! <laughs> what was that, Mr. Grimm? Yeah, that was the motorcycle uh, Grim Reaper dude. I was thinking of uh, Sweet Tooth wanted the paper bag. That! This paper bag? <laughs> Give it here! He puts it on, he's like, You said it was you said it was supposed to be easy! Now I like I like the, the incarnation that he, he eventually becomes where he's just just this uh this crazy this actually tough sounding dude. Yeah. Whereas there's fake Joker. Yeah. He's kind of he doesn't have the wiles of Joker. He just kind of he's like the, between Joker and Kenpachi is sweet too. You don't understand, man. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Uh, Your lids like coming off. That's I guess empty. it's empty, so it doesn't. Oh, really... I'm gonna reuse that for my tea. 
when I eventually cool chill it. And of course she's got, like, pompous Auron music to accompany her. <laughs> you know, when you're saying Auron music, you don't need to add pompous, it's implied. Yeah. Did you, uh... I didn't finish it yet. No, no, not that. Did you, uh... I don't remember how far we watched. Did uh, Kuno's sister appear in Ranma, the gymnastics girl? Oh, uh, the Black Rose? Yeah. 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 I also think of her. There, there's a very a very standard archetype for those types of full-of-themselves, busty characters. Yeah, the, that name, the, name, the archetype is called Pacifica Northwest. It truly, their first episodes truly, like... I Got guess. That character down to a T. But I'm thinking more along the lines of Naga the Serpent and Kodachi. Oh, the ones... And that being busty, black-haired, they look slightly more mature than the other girls, so they're full of themselves. Megumi. I, uh, Megumi's not as... She's not really... A, she's no. a doctor, not a, not a rich bitch. Yeah, Megumi doesn't wear slutty clothes and show off herself. <laughs> but if she did... So you just have a problem with, with, with no. rich women just, just acting like sluts for no reason. Not really, I'm just saying that's an archetype. I guess in Japan. Or trying to hold it over other people for being, quote-unquote, the mature type of sexy. Yep. What was I do? I just got the crystal thing, so now yes, I gotta go to the Now rose. you gotta go and... Tra There's and a lot to keep track of in this arc. In did this you just chapter. get the crystal, or did you just exchange it? I just got the crystal. Did, the did water I? Water stone? Maybe I just got the water stone. Yeah, let's Check go Check your inventory. Ah, oh, but that's work. As, a, as opposed to just walking. Yeah. I think I did exchange it. Yep. Yeah. Now you can go. All this for some fucking water. <laughs> Imagine having to do like something like this in order to get like a cup of water at like a water cooler. Yeah. That, this... Then that would be Hylix. <laughs> I I have yet to play that game. I think you'd looks... enjoy it. It's stream of consciousness earthbound. Yeah, I like that. Got one warm burrito. From the toilet. From the toilet hand. Uh. No, I've been... Uh, on, on, in regards to the lack of streams lately, I've been working very long and hard for the past week, so... Oh, uh, yeah, he, he was, like, there was, like, a couple of days in which he was gone to, like, six, so... I, I had at least one 14-hour work day in which I had to stay, get up at 4 a.m., so I have... Fine, this is the first weekend weekend I've had to actually catch up on sleep, so I will Goodness be doing that tonight. news is, though, is that you're making quite a bit of money. I am, yes, I'm finally... I, I'm, I'm making some... I'm out of which, the red. Which is good, because I'm, I'm losing a week, at least a week of work. Not that I'll be able to cover much for you, but... Yeah. Enough for my financial woes. I'll be too. I, I also haven't gotten to... Haven't worked as much as I should have on Bleach a Bridge of late because of all the work work I've been <laughs> doing. But I got... Wait, I'm, I'm making progress. I'm up to the final part of the episode that we're now putting together, the two of us. Okay, I got water, miracle water, and a glitch to go with it. It'll Yay, like... I love glitches. Okay, so I got all the stuff I need for the plant, but there's no sunlight. So we need to kill the boss. Wow, this level is pretty quick. I just, I, now I gotta go convince the sun to come up. <laughs> I went to Panda Express today, and there was a, a very... A very Mexican-looking dude, a big dude with, you know, facial hair dark, and dark hair, and a very thick Mexican accent working there. Which isn't surprising, Panda Express is not a, uh... It's not legitimate Chinese. No. I just thought it, I just thought it was kind of a funny contrast to see a Mexican guy working at the Chinese place. As opposed to a Chinese dude working at a Mexican place? Yeah. Uh, has that ever happened? I'm sure there are. Like, we go to, we go to a Mexican place called, like called, like, Mondo Gonzalez or something, and then you go in and it's just, like, a, a bunch of Chinese dudes making the, some really great Mexican food, and you leave feeling satisfied, but also slightly confused. There was a Chinese-Mexican place that is somewhere along the freeway I've passed before. Oh. Never had it, but... Wasn't there something like that in Astoria, or was that just, I like, don't a think Mexican, so. uh, American place? I think that you're thinking of, like, Azteca? No, Azteca is strictly Mexican. Mm. 
Oh, another... No, I don't know what you're talking about. Another amazing daisy. That's okay. We don't even need power bounce. We just whack it until it dies. And then we blow it up! I think every time you have to, uh... I think in order for them to, the spawns to change, you have to leave flower fields, though. Or go to certain maps, and god damn it, this, like, has that controller tilt thing going on. <laughs> that sucks. <sighs> if I can't sleep tonight, I'll do, like, an oh, extra long, like, stream or something to help me sleep. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm just, I... You got any game, solo games you've been looking forward to uh, streaming, or hoping to? Uh, Hotline Miami 2. Uh, of course, um, Downwell. Yeah. Downwell's fun. So, just a, a big Devolver Digital collection. Devolver Digital makes some really good games. Yeah. They, they've been really, like, what? Downwell's fun, uh, Hotline Miami's fun, uh, Mother Russia Bleeds is fun. Where am I going now? Mother I... Russia Bleeds is multiplayer, we could totally play that. Yeah. Like, uh, what was that other one? Reagan and Korshakov? Or Kor something? Oh, was that? I don't know if that was a Devolver Digital title, it but wasn't, I know what no. you're talking about. But it's, it, where, it's where Reagan and uh, and Gorbachev team up. Yeah. That, that one. That it's, one. it's like a slightly watered down but multiplayer Hotline Miami. Well, I guess Hotline Miami. No, we took turns on that. It wasn't yeah, multiplayer. Yeah, no, that's not multiplayer. That that would have been fun with multiplayer, but unfortunately. How, how, that would be easy on. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, that would be a okay. weird game to play in multiplayer, considering that one of you dies and that's it. Yeah, Ra Reagan and, Mor and Gorbachev was designed specifically for co-op play, though. Yeah. Okay. So it's like Portal 2's co-op mode as opposed to the single player. I wonder what happens if you beat the game. They just destroy the wall themselves. Maybe. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. With pleasure, Mr. Nixon. I thought Reagan. Reagan. Fuck, I get the two mixed up. <laughs> Nixon and Reagan. Yeah. Well, they're both very conservative dudes. Yeah, very controversial dudes as well. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what that's like. Dude, there's a game in which, in which uh, Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, and George W. Bush uh, do something. Just... Like, was George, George Bush notorious... Bush. George notoriously Bush. Con conservative... Yes. Or he just happened to be conservative. Uh, he was conservative. He's also an idiot. Yeah. Like, what I heard. But just like taking. Oh, suddenly, music change. Oh no, the Gerudos are coming. Like, yeah, we did just step into Gerudo Desert. Alright! Let's activate the stairs! Hey, look, I made a bridge. There are a lot of, uh... There are a lot of music tracks in this area. Like, compared to previous areas, they've got a lot more that only play in, on one map. Maybe they've made a lot of music and they realize that, uh... That, oh, a lot of the... A lot of the levels don't really need more than one music... Like, musical track. So they just shoved the rest here. It's the sun. Some people call it the blessed sun. The ble the holy sun. It's a source of life for flowers and trees. If it doesn't come out, eventually all plants wither away. Sunshine makes me happy too. <laughs> I live in Seattle. Overcast makes me happy. Gumbario took. Oh, well, I don't live in Seattle anymore, but when I used to live in Seattle. Overcast. Gumbario reacted pretty nonchalantly to the fact that we're talking to the fucking sun. He looks at it and like, oh yeah, it's the sun. That's cool. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. Oh, don't, don't be so depressed, dude. I'm the sun. Yes, you no, are. That's not entirely true. I should say, I was the sun. Now what are you, just a star? Those clouds keep me from climbing into the sky. Oh, so we need to shut down right. the cloud, dude. I don't know what kind of, like, maybe, did, did, does he have, like, a Spanish voice because of the music? I don't know. Don't try a Spanish accent. Oh, why? <laughs> You, uh, you th see, for some reason, see, you... I fly. <laughs> no, he, see, see, I no fly. I no fly only, no more. Uh, are, are only like anyway. Like you think every attempt at an accent is racist? 
For some reason. Just, I, know, I know that every attempt at an accent may come off as racist to certain people. Yeah, everything's offensive to someone. Fuck those people. <laughs> Fair enough. What happened to the stream? Like, uh, chat. There's still, it's it's it, gray as hell. Gray? Yeah. I mean, there's no one. No one's talking right now. Uh, we scared them all away with our offensive accents. What did he say? Okay, I gotta go to the Puff Puff machine east of here. This music is legitimately causing me pain. <laughs> like, I hear it, and it just goes like because down it, my ears, into my back, and it just irritates me. Because it. it's sad, or because you think it's bad music? Well, just because it's the notes resonate with the frequency in my spine. Hey, hey, hold up! Wait, man! Yo, man! No, man, we gotta give him a greaser voice. He's gotta be Christopher Walken! Yo, man. Fine. I don't Yo, care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. Christopher, Christopher Walken was never a greaser. He sounds like it. He sounds like the dudes from Grease, though. Does he? Yeah, it's the same kind of voice. Have you ever watched Grease? I've, I've seen parodies of it. Do you, have you ever watched Grease? No. Okay, shut up! Okay, he sounds like parodies of Grease. Is that better? Look, I don't have a problem with you burst. I can't even do Christopher Walken well, though. You, I, you don't want to get on my bad side. I'm, I'm a nice guy if you don't get on my bad side. It's a little more Hank Hill, honestly. <laughs> Here it comes, man. <laughs> Here, <laughs> Hank Hill riding a cloud, just with a serious face. He's just tossing... Like, take some propane at somebody. Max HP 50. That's a tough fucking lack of two. Oh, so obviously he's gonna have that much hit points when he. Oh, wait, no, we don't. No, know there's no such thing as hit points in this game. Oh, right, yeah, you're right. Fair point. Oh, look at how badass I am. Oh, <laughs> uh, this might be an uphill battle. Maybe that's a thing. All of the, uh, like, all the party members in the first game have huge amounts of HP. <laughs> they they all have like fifty to hundred hit points. They're just really bad at taking hits. They they get man colds when they get hit. Kick one in the shin. You just you just. Oh, I'm dying. I can't go on. Alas, I have been slain. He just needs a turn to like use a heal spell on himself or something. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this like. Paper Mario 1 Mario is a lot more uh, chivalrous than Paper Mario 2. He's, like, protecting the partners. He's being a human shield. Yeah, meanwhile, he's just like, here, you take from me. In Paper Mario 2, the partners are the shields. He's jaded at Paper Mario 2. Well, he's he's war-hardened. He's no longer taking the hits for these for these scrubs. Learn, learn by doing. That's the Mario way. Man, you're tough as nails. I give up, man. I give up. Go on, do your worst. Forget about it. I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> Wait! It's Peggy Hill coming to save oh, his it's, life. It's, oh, it, she does look like Peggy Hill. Look at that fucking ponytail. Booyah! It'd be crazy if like you got all these like crazy fantasy races teaming up and then they the the final party members fucking Hank Hill. <laughs> And he's, just, he just he's not even kill. dressed differently. He's just in his he's just in his standard day wear. Yeah. What you want me to do about it? Well, I just sell propane. Just have a, or even a party where the last character is just an everyman, just a dude. Just a dude. Or like an office worker who had, he's Rock from from uh, Black Lagoon. He has clerical <laughs> skills. He's a good diplomat. Yep. Oh my god. The Hank Hill's, like, Max, like, Persuade, Fast Talk, Bluff. I didn't, I didn't even see what those choices are. Yeah, I'm fighting for myself. That's the way to go, man. Walking your own <laughs> path with honor. Names are... I can get names behind. Names mean nothing on a battlefield. By the way, what's your name? <laughs> what was that line from? That was Metal Gear Solid. The mistake was trying to be cool with, like... With, like, I don't have a name. Names mean nothing on the battlefield. He turns around and he asks the woman for her name. <laughs> like, like, he's trying to be cool, but then he realizes that if he, that if she manages to oppress her, he'll never get her name. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got a, a new party member. The, the ride. 
We've got a vehicle now. Ride to Paracarry 2.0. Paracarry is now totally obsolete. It's mostly. I mean, you still need him to fly over shit, but... Come back to... I just, I just downgraded him to a vehicle in front of his girlfriend. <laughs> That's the most emasculating thing you can do. Like, he didn't even... <laughs> Bend over, lack of Lester. <laughs> Bend over. He didn't even give. Maybe he didn't even give me permission to do that. Mario just hopped on and went to town. Well, it's like he looks and he's like, uh, "You need me to be a vehicle, don't you?" This is how you can be useful to me. You don't want to be another paracarry, do you? Oh God, no! <laughs> oh, there's that herb. Yeah, sure, we'll help you pick up your mail. Never. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get some upgrades real quick. All right. Uh, what, how, what is it you need, son? Can you get me? Can you give me something high in CBD? I really need it right now. Deku Tree, use your magic to heal my back. Eh, I don't really need any of these. <laughs> I guess I have nothing else to spend coins on though. You were supposed to take one of them with... I guess you just ate, so... You can take them if you want to, I guess. Uh, it's been... Has it, seven, has it been eight hours? Seven, seven and a half. Close enough. Hand, hand me the stuff. <laughs> Live drug use. <laughs> <laughs> we switched to a webcam to see, see you shirtless lying on your side downing pills. It is like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> David Hasselhoff, the original degenerate. Where am I going? I'm, I'm going into the sewers. Oh, God. Okay, so... What's this one? Is... Okay. Oh! Oh, that's what it... Okay, so... Don't worry, that's empty. Alright. Waluigi, the best part of Smash Bros. Infinite. I, I, would, I was talking about... This was you off played this, yes. I didn't play it, no. I watched a video of it. I was talking right. about it with you off-stream. And it's... A cool concept. There's a lot of lot of cool stuff in the game, but because it's community made and they have no standards for the production, it's, Mugen. it's basically Mugen. Yeah, they characters vary extremely and, widely in well, terms of balance and like goodness. Like Mugen, it's got Broly. Yeah, not a good Broly. Have you seen Broly in Mugen? I have not seen Broly. That is in the Mugen. most hilarious shit because he's so overpowered. He has a move which automatically. Does, hit, does like a 999 hit combo and kills you instantly. <sighs> well, it is Broly, to be fair. Yeah, it's like, it's like, and for some reason all his lines are in Brazilian. Yeah, that Portuguese. that's another issue with Mugen, is that it varies so much by language, and a lot of the anime characters are in Japanese, so... It, or, or Brazilian. Or Brazilian in this case, yeah. yeah. Like, who... I, for some series it makes sense, like, Naruto, I could see, it, he has a big sub-fan base, but... Dragon Ball Z, if, if everyone grew up with the dub. Why would you have Japanese schoolgirl Goku? Uh, I don't know. Well, I Weeaboos. think it's because all the voice actors, all the voice lines are originally... I know, okay. For a lot of the Dragon Ball Z characters, I know where they came from. There's this game on SNES called... Uh, Super Butoden? Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. Oh, okay. And... And it play, as, a, as a fighting game, it played really well. It, the life bar and the special meter were one and the same. Yeah. Which oh, I so kind of liked. F-Zero mechanics. Yes. Also, it makes sense because because in Dragon Ball Z universe, those moves are literally cast from, like, lifespan. Kind of. Some sort of Sort of. I mean... It's kind of vague, but... Nice. If you can't cast any, like, key blasts, you're you're pretty much on the verge of death anyway, so... I don't think that's entirely true, but I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. Uh, but there's, like, a mechanic where if you were, if another person was behind, you could do, like, the, the standard stand still and yell and while you glow yeah. charge mechanic, and it actually heals you. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very good game, and, uh, and I know that at least one, like, the, the common cell that's used in the Mugen Circles is from that game, and it's really well designed. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, they actually added moves using what little resources they had. Mm. It's pretty cool. Eh, it's not too, too hard to make new sprites. Also, they did a really good Homer Simpson on, uh... Yeah, I've seen the movie. Homer Simpson. The Homer Simpson plays really well. I haven't played any... Mo I've never played Mugen. The Homer I've... Simpson has, like, a fucking... Has a shout-out to Akuma. He has that fucking special move where he's like... Like... 
Ooh. It's weird because he kind of mixes a couple. The person who made it mixed in it, like a couple of mechanics with that Homer. Mixed in like uh, a mechanic from the uh, SNK King of Fighters games in which like uh, 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 certain characters can just cough up some blood and go fucking crazy. Oh, uh, like a berserker mode. Yes, and uh, and then they also had the fucking Akuma. Uh, you know that Akuma move where he hovers to the other guy, clutches him, and all goes black, and then suddenly the hit counteracts up. No. No? I've oh. never played Street Fighter. Alright, right. I'll show it to you later. But, but, yeah, he has that. He has a JoJo move in which he drops a fucking construction crate. He's basically... the Homer Simpson is the ultimate joke character. Mm. Except he plays really well, so... Yeah. I've seen, uh... I've seen Mugen videos. I saw the main one... Okay, this one's still available. The main one that I saw a lot when I was younger is, uh, I think I showed you that Cell is Angry video. Mm. <laughs> Where he's just beating the shit out of a bunch of random characters for no particular reason. Yeah. No good reason. No good reason. <sighs> See, now now Watt is a he in the, in the upgrade text. Yep. <laughs> what gender is it? I don't know. How do you tell on a ball of lightning? <laughs> Where do you look? Oh. Boy, I love fast travel. Don't you, Jeeves? <laughs> Jeeves. I really wish you'd stop, stop calling me that. Okay, Jeeves, whatever you say. Look how late. Who gives a damn about you? Your new name is Midboss. Oh, right, I have the hammer now. You have Ultra Hammer. And I think I can get the Ultra Boots now that I have him. <laughs> Moving's this, hard. This is why the only games we're streaming tonight are single player with me playing them. I did play Smash earlier. I did pretty well, but then again, I was fighting out a handicap. Uh, yeah, I was not using any custom characters. I was using all the custom characters. And we broke we broke pretty even for the most part. Oh well, yeah, I, I I wasn't on my I'm not on my recliner, so Yeah. I my recliner's causing me pain. I'm so it has sad. betrayed you. Uh, the first week whenever I last time I injured my back the first week was the hardest. Yeah. Yeah, the first week I could You know, that was the week I was well, your work hasn't scheduled you for more than a week, and I think they're waiting to hear back from you, so... That's what they are. I told them that, uh, that... Because cause a week will pass mid-next week, and when that happens, and if I feel well enough to work, I'll just... I'll call them and say, hey, give me some extra shifts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if that doesn't end up working out... At the very least, uh, a silver lining is that I probably... If I don't ever recover from this, I qualify for disability. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I can just focus full time on like music stuff and stuff. So <laughs> I guess you don't want to talk about that publicly yet. What? The stuff you're thinking about doing. Yeah, no. Just leave that as a surprise. God damn it. If I do publish that stuff, it won't be on this channel. It'll be on uh, another yeah. channel. Fuck it. PK Star Star. With help. He looks like a Jeeves. He could be Jeeves. What, the, the, the Koopa? The star. Alright, attack! Uh, blow the enemies away from battle. No. Hide Mario. So it's no. kind of like a long-term uh, boo hide. And spiny. Yeah, not not the best in combat character. Aim! I guess the, uh, the, uh, the hide Mario thing could be useful for, like, tanking damage. I'm a sharpshooter. Oh god, I have to aim. It's like paracarry. Fuck off, Koopa. Sky sniper. <laughs> there we go. This is actually... Uh, I'm stuck! I'm trapped! I wonder if I can get that at the right angle. Alas. Doesn't say yes! Holy shit! You can't make me get the upgrade, bitches! I broke the system! I did it. It was all me. 
See, this is good timing because now I have 10 power jumps and I can deal with those fucking clouds. Yep. You have to go on a side quest to get, like, some better boots. I just rushed them as soon as I was able. They don't really give you a tutorial for this jump. You just try it and get it. Right, Mario. Imagine Mario and fucking Awesome Nuts. Yeah. So, what, well, his main attack would be, uh, jumping? Yeah, it'd be a weird kind of jumping mechanic in which you when you're in the air and you hit, like, the attack button, he'd immediately go down. Yeah. If you hit Awesome Knots with it, it does massive damage. Unfortunately, it's, like, kind of a weird-ass brawling thing. Yeah. I mean, he could have, like, jump and hammer abilities. The jump works in the air like School Gear's Earthquake. Oh, yeah, his first ability could be some kind of jump thing. Maybe it's like if you touch the bottom, you bounce off an enemy Awesome Knot and you deal damage. But then what would his auto attack be? Punching. I think Mario doesn't really punch, though. Or his hammer. Yeah. His secondary ability can be a ranged, like, Fire Flower type deal. Or something. Something Paper Mario. Or cape! He doesn't use a cape, either. Oh, no. Spin it? Flood? Spin attack? Flood? He doesn't use Flood. He's Paper Mario. Spin oh. attack. Oh, maybe. Paper Mario. I thought you were talking about... I was talking about Mario. Mario. Oh, no, no. I, I guess, yeah. I... Woo. If it were normal Mario, he uses punches more often than... He... I guess not. He only really punched in Mario 64. He punches, uh... Punches in Smash. Yeah, true. Everyone punches in Smash, though. Not everyone! Uh... Who doesn't? Hold on. I, I, I got this. I'm uh, pretty sure even the, like, the most committed swordmen have at least one punching move in, like, a grab or something. Ike boots people. True. He, he also... I, I does could, he have a punch? He does. I know, I know Nightmare has a punch in, like, Soul Calibur, so I'm not saying it's, like, impossible. I'm Doesn't he saying. also have a curb stump? Oh, he does. He has a, like, he, he, Sig, he has the one where he can charge it up. Siegfried is the one where he just stomp the dude. Yeah. Over and over again. He's got, uh, I know Ike's, like, regular standard combo is two punches and then a sword, remember? I thought it was, like, two kicks and then a sword. I, I guess you could be right. I don't know. Kirby punches, uh, Ness kind of punches. I actually like this iteration slightly more than the ultra jump you get in the second game, just because this is faster. I it's more it. streamlined. Yeah. God damn it. Wrong timing, Jeeves. Oh, I've got to change my badges, too. Yeah, it's spiky. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I have that on. But I can get rid of an uh, HP plus now that I have a... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna blow you, man. You can leave now. Ah, oh, fuck! What Whoa! Is this? Steam, why? Oh, it worked. Okay. You did it. <laughs> the people wa looking at watching are gonna be wondering what the fuck just happened. Yeah, I, I hit a button on my controller that apparently brings Steam up. I didn't know that was a feature. Check this. Do check the stream settings to see if it's like actually still playing. God damn it. Or not. You can see the stream behind us. Oh, okay. God, I just don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. I'm going to blow you away. Let me blow you away. Only the strongest will survive. Are you you're familiar with that song? Yes. Don't Keep in mind, I was alive during the during the new metal era, and that was the time I grew up. I think that's a different song. I was that's a Nickelback I, thing. Oh, I was there was like a red versus blue thing that was like that. It was all gay innuendos. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I had butt rock playing as I went to get your meds the other day. <laughs> Just because I ha my iPod happened to be on three days grace. <laughs> okay, I think I've cleaned out the sewers. No, there's still little things. This is the to the next area, but we don't know that yet. And there's nothing I can do up there yet. So, I will ignore that. And I'll just go down to a creepy Rip Cheeto place. He's not useful for much. No, it, considering his name's fucking Rip Cheeto. Only useful if you're doing the full, you know, 100% star pieces run. We had to change dimensions as we left the room there. Okay, back to Flower Place. 
what, what's our HP like? Eh, it could be improved. The sissy badge, group focus, and charge. <laughs> Which was the quick change? The easy action commands. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one you, you get pissed off whenever I play as. Well, wow, so you know, it doesn't make you any powerful. It's just an accessibility badge. Okay, no more, no more uh, HP plus or FP pluses. Now I'm a free man. I have 30 full badge points to spend. <laughs> this still hurts. <laughs> I can't get my legs in any kind of good position because then the, the pain just kind of shifts. Sorry. I know. It's not your fault. Uh, power balance? Where's that? That's two. <laughs> and multi balance. I'll, I'll get some jump abilities. I have jump. two. Two, two power hammers, bounce. two jumps. Power bounce. Well, power actually, bounce. For the, actually, for the strategy you want to employ for this boss, you don't really need power bounce. No, it's... All you need... I, I don't need to build for this boss specifically, though. I'm just building a general... You got Kumbario. You got him. You got him. Well, like, we, we'll get to that when we get to it. Yeah. We can, we can finish the boss off to, right now. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm sure we'll finish the chapter. That's our goal. Is we, we usually get one chapter done per stream. The last chapter was an exception because it's... I'm pretty sure the longest chapter was the jungle. <laughs> oh, that's where I forgot to. I was going to get you like a bigger ice pack. Do you want the small ice pack? Oh, did you freeze it again? Yeah. That'd be useful, yeah. I warm, warm, warm. Oh, oh, you're going to have to warm me when you come out of me like that. <laughs> warm doesn't really help. Okay, so anybody who's ever, I know, I'll tell you what this is. This is a, I, I herniated a disc. This happened before, and it probably won't be the last time, but four years in between was. Could be worse. Ooh, yeah, that's better. So when you first hurt your back, the first like week, the first couple of weeks are the worst and then it just slowly kind of goes away you gotta walk a lot yeah you gotta just kind of get your exercise strengthen up your core oh, God. oh yes oh, this feels so much better oh, let's lower let's have it more to the left there we go i don't actually i don't remember the order for this i'll figure it out <laughs> yeah, i'm sure you will okay Oh, what were you gonna say? Nothing. I'm just, I'm just ranting about how much pain I'm in. <laughs> it's how I cope with actual pain. Pain. What were we just? We were just talking about like uh, fighting games earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, t I'm telling you, we need to play some more against each other. Yeah, we don't we have. We don't, haven't played a whole lot. There's a, a game I've been meaning to get you to play. We could do this for the next stream. Is a uh, Bushido Blade. Yeah. Yeah, it's sword play, except everything's like got realistic-ish hit detection and damage. There's no health bars. If you land a good enough hit, you're, you just kill the other person. And the opponent, like, can't the opponent, like, get submissive after a loss of, like, honor and just wait for you to kill them? Isn't that uh, Bushido Blade? I I think, I know there's, like, a skip up button. If you're, I, you can take out a person's limbs. You can have them just, like, laying down. You can just incapacitate the other dude. Yeah. I don't know what happens with the loss of honor. I think that only applies in story mode. Oh, that maybe that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. What, uh... I, I brought up the fighting game, because I realized something the other day. What? Is that Ichigo Kurosaki is a better character for a fighting game than, an, than an anime main character. Ichigo? Yeah, I realize... I guess so, he does have, like, all the... I realize, because he hits really hard and fast. That's pretty much his only powers, is that he... He, has, he also has a sword beam. Yeah, and he's... So he's, that's his Hadouken. And he's really, he's actually really satisfying in a fighting game to fly around, you know, just dealing a lot of damage to someone with. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It, 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 <laughs> oh, I, I, this would be hold, horribly mismatched if they, like, actually tried to make scientific sense of it, but Ichigo versus Goku would be a fun fight to watch. Yeah, it would. If, if, like, if it was more even, I'm sure it'd be a fun fight to watch. More even, yeah. I don't think... I mean, Ichigo is fast, but I still don't think he can com compares to DBZ speeds. DBZ physics is the you is can't the worst physics. Yeah, you just can't really reasonably compare anything to DBZ. Just the power scale is too they, far off. They regularly destroy planets. There's no way you can like you know. There's just no second to that. Oh, th more new music tracks. What's going on, guys? Something f something cool happening? Oh my god. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, Jeeves. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get out Goombario. I need to feel like I need to tattle here. 
We what need is... more clouds. I want to see this land covered. Oh, it's a brown magic Koopa. Okay. Well, yellow. Looks brown from here. Leave me alone, man. Can't you see I'm busy working? They're, they're not, not. They're not threatened. They're, no, they're not even reacting to the fact that. Okay, he fi he actually recognizes me. I know the secret. I so, actually know what our enemy Mario looks like. It looks like a looks like a fat Italian dude wearing red and blue and having a, and has a big mustache. It's the it's the piss Koopa, and eleven hit points. That's piss lovely. <laughs> just just sorry, go on. Piss up, answer. Just as I get the frickin' the uh, ten damage boots, this guy has fucking eleven hit points. Well, you, you and Mario could like double team him. Yeah. You have a Marvel team up. Like, what can he do? He doesn't heal, right? He, he, uh, can kinda... he can electrify his opponents, his allies, and I think make them invisible. I'm not sure. I don't remember if it was this game or maybe the next one that kind of gave the Magic Koopas multiple powers. I'm electrified now! If That's only, cute. If only I had an electric stomping badge. Alas. Wait, why did you go for, for, for... I want you to deal a killing blow. You're ready for this, Goombario. <laughs> Do deal the killing blow. Punch him so hard he, he goes back to the Stone Age. Can you imagine if Goombario looked like the Goombas in the Mario movie? Uh, <laughs> and just that- Are you talking about the live action one? Yes. Oh my god. And just that was following Mario around? I watched that movie when I was a kid. I was confused. I'm like, I don't remember the Mario universe to be this cyberpunk. Yeah. It was very <laughs> a sci-fi movie. It was. Like- I'm trying to remember, there's some ridiculous shit that happens in this mo in that movie. The only thing I remember of the movie is, like, Mario convincing Luigi that he was flying when he was in, like, a wind tunnel or something, or he was on a wire, and Luigi j tried to jump, and he fell down a pit. <laughs> That's all I remember of it. Oh, man. Yoshi was in that movie. And was he, he was he was like a literal raptor. I, this yeah. like a little raptor thing, and he gets he gets fucking impaled. <laughs> like I know that the guys does, Mar does he get impaled after Mario jumps off of him? No. Oh, that's too bad. No, well, you, you're talking about a movie which was made specifically to cash in. You really think people are gonna be like identifying the the meta statistics of like, the average Mario players so it, they can make in jokes? Yeah. No, you're thinking too hard about this shit. Yeah. I should probably stop ranting how I am. I don't, I don't imagine just doing my back any favors. The, does ranting hurt your back? Yeah. The Goombas in fucking... And, uh, go back to the Goombas in that movie. They they were like these giant lizard-like dudes in church coats. Yeah, <laughs> they were. <laughs> I, I wonder if I can blow up the machine. Oh, I can! It worked! Kind of. I wonder if they... I think it actually has, like, hit points. Because I have to hammer it a certain number of times before it shows damage, so maybe bombs do it faster. Maybe. I'm a demolitions expert, Mario. Actually true, because of Destruction Crew, or Destruction... what is it? Destru... Wreck wrecking Crew, I think was the game. Wrecking Crew? Was there a game called Wrecking Crew where Mario was wrecking stuff? Yeah. Teaming up... The it was an arcade game. The crossover between uh, Mario and Wreck-It Ralph that everybody was looking for. The clouds are gone. It's time for a little sunshine. See, I fly. You fly. That's your that's your only attempt at a, at a Mexican accent is that well, one line from South Park. That's a brilliant line though, because that's all he says. It, it did it, it did fly. He was it, right. He got it got to the moon. Don't don't mess with the the Mexican space program. They know what's up. The Mexican space program. What was the what was the whale's name? <laughs> Wilziak. Wilziak the Free whale. Wilziak. That yeah. Then the crit is just showing. It was the crit is showing it down the moon. Just utter <laughs> silence. See, this is why South Park works as it goes to Family Guy. Yeah. Because Family Guy Peter Griffin would probably just just be an idiot throughout the entire thing, but it makes sense for the South Park people to do that shit because they're kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so I don't feel insulted when watching South Park. Yeah. They're, they're, they let me know. They let you know if you're the one they're going to be making fun of that episode. Oh, yeah. It's, it's and also, they vary their targets. They don't just... They, they make fun like, of everyone. They don't pick on one particular person 
like three episodes in a row. Once, yeah. Like one episode they focused on hippies, and another one they focused on people who skipped through the iPad. Yeah. They did an episode where 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 they were talking about people making fun of like the people who were hyping up the Wii, and Nintendo didn't even really take insult to that. Oh, I gotta talk to the tree before I can plant. I need the tree's permission to plant. Here. <laughs> Does he rule this place? You did a tree madness to kill yourself. <laughs> Don't no, that's that's mean. It's so nice seeing my dear flower feel. He's the Deco tree. He's supposed to die. Oh. After such a long time, there's nothing like sunlight. You should plant that magical bean, don't you think? <laughs> okay, this is confusing. What? What do you mean? Why? Because the order is not what you expect. <laughs> what are you doing? Haven't you ever grown a plant? Order soil, then the bean, then what? There's dirt already there. You put the bean down, then you put the soil over no, it. No, it's not the right kind of soil. The flavor needs to be just right. You gotta put the soil down and then put the bean under the soil. That's how that works. Yep. Then you gotta water it. Then you get. Then you gotta kill a cow and mix it in its blood. That's what makes it magic. Cow cattle slaughter. And then uh, yeah, Yogsathoth, uh, ultimate gardener. The dick vine groweth. <laughs> How come this plant doesn't have a face? <laughs> because it's about as intelligent as a cucumber. <laughs> Lar I Not guess, a Mario I guess, cucumber, a legitimate cucumber. I guess Larry was the idiot in VeggieTales, wasn't he? I you I know shit about VeggieTales, oh, so right. I'll have to take yeah. your word for it. He he was the love he was the lovable oaf and Bob the tomato was the straight man. That was how Veggie Tales worked. Uh, was he the one who was always the one to do like anti Christian stuff? Just leap into it. No, no. Oh, that was uh, that was usually just kids who didn't know better and would learn a lesson from it. Yeah, you play video games, you're going to hell. Or oh, the evil Mister Nebuchadnezzar. What the fuck? They named an evil dude Nebuchadnezzar? Well, he played like Nebuchadnezzar, who's like an evil king in biblical something or other. He was a pickle. I don't know the guy, the character's like non-biblical -bib name. Oh. Yep, in the clouds oh, now. Oh man, the Matrix episode of Fourth Seat Cinema is gonna be hilarious. I did a. Uh... That, that contains a. The Matrix contains a lot of biblical references. Yeah. I don't remember when I did the, uh, I did like a deep voice for something and some, someone where I was playing with, I don't think it was on stream where we playing Awesome Knots, said that I sounded like the pickle from VeggieTales. <laughs> Who just sounds like a, I, I don't know, like a deep voice black guy, I guess. He sounds like i uh, oh, I'm the pickle. Like, uh, what's the voice actor? Kevin Michael Richardson, kind of, the guy who was Drek and all the black guy. He was the black cop in uh, Gravity Falls. Oh, okay. That voice. Oh, yeah. And, uh, who's the other guy? There are two guys who voice, like, every black character in animation. Him and Phil Lamar. Phil Lamar, yeah. Except in Samurai Jack, where Phil Lamar got to be actually unique. <laughs> Man, we gotta watch more Samurai Jack. Yeah. Samurai Jack's fun. And Rip... Oh, they, they've got, they also have a new season, which is for adults only. Rip Mako. You have not been forgotten. Mako. Oh man, who are they gonna get to replace Mako? Maybe it that's gonna be that's gonna be so disappointing. Maybe it'll be the same guy from uh, Avatar. I'm just gonna go around, thanks. Dude, what if they, what if they go a full 180 and just have him be this high pitched motherfucker? No, I can't get a first strike on him. Oh 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 man, it, you, you know who should they should get? They should get Steve Bloom. Oh, voice, uh, as Aku. As Aku. Aku. That'd, be a, that'd be pretty weird. It would be kind of weird. He, like he started as Mako and then just grew into Steven Bloom. Oh my god, He can yeah. change his voice at will. He just found the one he liked best. <laughs> I have come to you in a form you are comfortable with. Here's Steven Bloom. I have another form Aku puts a hat on. <laughs> that was... That was that was a okay. That episode of South Park was amazing. The Walmart just, one. Yeah, where he just comes out. And he's he's put, <laughs> the South Park stream. <laughs> and then at the very he's like, I have to reveal my true form. He takes out his fucking big facial hair. Yeah. 
<laughs> Are you a man named Mario? Because, okay, South Park is unexpectedly surreal at times. That's yeah. what makes it work. It's just, it's just the fact that it kind of goes off the deep end once in a while. Yeah. Like the one where they were just doing a somewhat straight adaptation of Great Expectations and instantly added aliens. Well, that's the whole point of South Park, is that they take, like, dry, really surreal stuff and treat it in a dry fashion. <laughs> Which, you know, that's why I like that over Family Guy. Family Guy just kind of points out the weirdness way too much. Yeah, it's very in your face. Also, a lot of the characters in that show are unlikable. There's a lot of Meg picking on. And uh, that sh honestly, that show kind of ruined my Lacunas for me. Me Lacunas? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Jupiter Ascending ruined me Lacunas for me. Oh, okay. Oh my, I told you that story, right? I know that you like went and saw it in the theater. And what was what else was playing? Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey was also playing, as well as Kingsman: The Secret Service. You had to decide between them, and for some reason, you were between Fifty Shades and Jupiter. Yes, and yes. not okay. Kingsman. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you the story. Uh, I was I was with my dad at the time. We were I was still living up in Seattle, and uh, and we were near a, a Cinnabar, which is basically a movie theater. But with drinking, yeah, and uh, and my dad's like, "Hey, let's go see a movie." I'm like, "Okay, that sounds cool. What movie you want to see?" And he said, "Jupiter Ascending," and I'm like, "You sure about that? I I heard that movie kind of sucked. It has a post Wachows post Matrix Wachowskis as directors." He's like, "Now nah, I want to see it." I'm like, uh, "Are you sure Kingsman is here too? I always wanted to see that." He's like, "No, nah, I've seen that with your mom. <laughs> I want to watch something else." And I'm like, and we were like in the the lobby of the theater, kind of laughing at all these people going to see Fifty Shades of Grey, and I'm like, <laughs> well, at least we're not seeing that. That's probably worse rated. And then he's like, okay, let's look up the Rotten Tomatoes. And I looked up uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and his Rotten Tomatoes score was pretty shit. And then I looked up uh, Jupiter, Jupiter Ascending, Ascending, and it was two points lower than Fifty Shades of Grey. I looked at him, and I like, thanks a lot, Dad. And yet you still ended up going to that one. Uh, it was... I, I would say it was a good movie. At least I, at least I wasn't bored. Yeah, you got a good story out of it. Yes. You cloud destroying pest. Yep. You just, can't save the star that spirit. That cannot be created nor destroyed. We're destroying clouds. We're just kind of dispersing them. Oh, it's a big cloud. I never saw that coming. Oh wow! I have. How do I have half health? I didn't you get. You suck at fighting. Okay. I I guess I got like vampire energy sapped or something. It's okay, you don't need to deal damage immediately. Just, just do your thing. Goombario, this is your test. It's <laughs> all up to you, Goombario. <laughs> Store your power! Okay, so the thing with this boss is that when you hit him, he kind of just, uh, separates. As so. That happens. Yeah. I wish to pummel Mario 2! Permission to attack! Take him! I'm surprised you're showing this off, but. Yeah, I think I just. I should at least show what happens. Yeah. And then he eats them. And he just gets his health back. So yeah, he's a regenerating true. boss. And I actually should have tattled on him first, is what I should have done. Charge tattle! He's a giant. Do you get more information out of this? <laughs> yeah. HP 60. His thunder attack is very dangerous. If you don't defend, you'll take massive damage. Oh wait. Does he have attacks that hit both uh, both party members? I think he does. Oh if, fuck. If I don't guard against his thunder one, it will hurt Goomba. Oh guard. no! The charge is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start it over again. Just defend. Is there such a thing as defense? Why are you attacking again? Well, maybe I can tattle on the rough, the tough puffs. Uh, not now, because because then he'll just suck him up again. Yep, you want to do that when your both your partners are are uh, when both your party members are available. Yeah, that's true. Oh no, he's not. Six, five, four, three, three, two. I, I don't three, think you can actually get to two. Oh, he's still charged. Oh, okay. Okay, he retains it. These are the tough puffs that break off when you damage huff and puff. Might want to do your fucking, uh... Yeah, I'll do my heal. Meanwhile, we've got, uh... 
What instrument is that? It's like a pan flute, I guess? It's like the oil ocean music from Sonic. Oh, yeah. The oil ocean. The time when Sonic just raids a fucking, uh, a fucking, like, oil, oil drilling rig. Did you hear about that, uh, like, the situation with the with Navajo tribe, I think? Oh, what? Is that, like, an oil company just... It... They basically desecrated... Indian ruins or a great Oh my grave, god, that's a sites. bad idea. Like the the tribes had gone through all of the necessary like legal stuff to have them protected the uh -huh. sites. And the oil company found out about this and pushed their construction up ahead to the, before the weekend and just like desecrated a bunch of graves. Oh my god, I I, I hope that oil company gets, like, a, a crazy curse put on them. And then when it, there was protests, like, the cops were called and they used attack dogs on the Native Americans. Oh, no! It was a pretty, pretty big, pretty shitty event. No shit, it was shitty! Now you'll witness the full power of my storm. I wonder if I can, maybe I can knock it out of him with, like, a... Oh, I don't have hammer throw, fuck. Okay, yeah, gonna... uh... Hmm. Raise your umbrella, like, raise your small umbrella like Wily e. Coyote. Aha! What's that? Coconut! You throw a fucking coconut at him! It didn't work. <laughs> Did that motherfucker just throw a coconut at me? Did he think that would work? Oh, god damn it. I just made more problems for myself. <laughs> You killed uh -oh. Cerberus, but you got killed by a coconut? Oh. Ow. Okay, it doesn't hit Goombario. I'm good. Yeah, I'm awesome! You, you, are, tr you are truly the mightiest! What a- Oh, it costs three. Okay. I don't have a life Better re refresh. Yeah. I guess I could. Refresh or smooch? I, I can't smooch is the problem, so... Oh, well, in that case, just refresh. I wonder if I could put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, yeah, put a cloud to sleep. Because you know those clouds, they won't, they can't rain properly unless they get their, their like, their beauty eight rest. hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, that's true. They do kind of need to accumulate. Well, it's not like they need to... They don't need REM sleep. What's his, uh, what's his bonus at now? I have no idea. It doesn't keep... Oh, he's just, you're doesn't not show you a number. You're not keeping track? Keep charging the spirit bomb, Goombario. We only have one shot at this. Piccolo. Okay. Okay, now just, I can just... Just heal. Yeah. Or focus. I shouldn't have done nothing that one turn. I should turn. I should have used focus. Yep. It's not enough, Goombario. I have no idea where he's... I mean... It... It's been, like, I want to say at least four turns, so... He's at least plus eight, pr maybe plus ten. Okay, so, so twenty something, twenty damage then. Yeah. Oh, can you use an item? I don't. I only have like a five HP item. Oh well. And I have a life shroom, so worst case scenario, I'm protected. I'm gonna focus again. I want to get the smooch back. Fair enough. I'm gonna. I came in here with half hit points. That I don't know how still, but I did. I came here with half- I'm only at half my combat effectiveness. Uh-oh. That's bad. And I don't really have a way of dealing with that. So hmm. just raise your umbrella and just take the hit. Pretty much. I have my life shroom to protect me. I'm gonna have to just- I'm just gonna have to blow a life shroom on this one. So, uh... Cup of life noodles. Bye-bye, Mario. Brace for impact. <laughs> Brace for impact. Keep it up, Goombario. Don't stop no matter what happens to me. No fear! But Mario, you, you're gonna die, Mario! It's okay. Death is only a temporary occurrence. Shit, dying hurts. Try not to tense up. It helps. <laughs> That's the, the only running joke we got out of Unreal Tournament. That was the best, it was the best one, because it was just like, he's not wrong. Yeah. Dying does hurt. I'm not dying and I'm hurting. I can't imagine what it feels like to die. Just blow up into a bunch of bloody chunks. That was a pretty b brutal game. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing, though, that, like, death is only temporary. You get blown up in the chunks and then you just get revived and you're like, 
fuck? Oh, I know how we can tell. We haven't used any flower point moves with Mario, so we used it five times now. So it's plus ten. Yes. I think. Have we recovered FP at all? I don't I, think so. I refresh. We didn't use... Well, we did use one refresh. So he's ten now. Okay. So that's plus twenty. Plus twenty. Plus his Almost like, standard, there. his base, so... Almost there. What's his hit, hit points at? 50? 60. Okay. Almost there. A couple more. We gotta be good in charge, this lightning. spirit bomb. Fistful of lightning. Try to block it. Keep praying, Mario. He's he's literally giving his energy to uh, Goombario's spirit bomb. Yeah. <laughs> now... Oh, gee, gee, Mario, I'm kind of feeling a little weird. Your balls are dropping. You're becoming a man, Goombario. Uh, uh, I'd say... I'm gonna do one more. Help me, Eldstar. We need all the energy we can gather. One more. <laughs> Frieza sees the spirit bomb. Just coming at him slowly like, No! It can't be! It's impossible! This is your moment to shine, Goombario! It's all you! You're really doing... Okay. You motherfucker! Taste the power! Yeah! The man... The god Goombario! <laughs> this is why Goombario is... Big. This is why everyone who says Goombario is a crappy party member is objectively wrong. Because this boss sucks if you try to fight him normally. Yeah. I, I had the idea... One of us had the idea where we were just like, Hey, how about we just fucking charge him so we don't have to deal with this small shit? Yeah. And it worked! Just literally one-shot him. Best way to deal with it. Oh, there's the Star of David again. I think that's a graphical glitch. I think it's supposed to be, like, it's just the top half of the star, and then the bottom would be two points. But Maybe. it's, like, flipped the top half. Yeah. Very weird. Oh, well. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Goombario has graduated into a, into a full man. We could not be prouder. <laughs> A full rather than a half man. Rather, rather than the a half man. Rather than a boy. Tyrion Lannister was called the half man. It was all leading up to this. Goombario, his balls dropped, and everything was great. I'm gonna kick your ass. And so it is that Mario and party defeat Cruel Cloud Huff and Puff and set free the sixth star spirit. Fuck, this hurts. The thick clouds that. W I'm sorry, my Morgan Freeman voice is so painful. <laughs> A single star spirit waits to be rescued. Waits to take its place in the star sanctuary. Someday. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa is waiting too. Yeah, oh, that's that's such that's so threatening. Okay. Kami Koopa is waiting. Well, oh, really? That's it? I think we've gone on quite long enough for yep. now. Yeah. So we finished the Goombario became a man, god, person. We finished Flower Fields, and we're going to go uh, on to the final chapter next time, maybe. Net on to the final chapter. I th we're pretty much out of, like, end side quests between chapter stuff. Are, are we? I, wait, that one woman. The singing one. I guess we could. The one we never do. She, did, she just gives us star pieces all. Oh, well. well. I mean, there are plenty of star piece side quests we could do if we wanted to go for those. Side quest run? And I just... <laughs> give us more chance to talk about shit. Yeah. S see you next time, See you guys. next time.